<laughs> well, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory yeah, to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, what he has done for me, oh my soul cries out, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank God for saving me. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, 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 good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and, and what He has done for me. My soul cries out, Hallelujah! Thank God for saving me. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful, good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Jesus! He's the name by the God and Counselor. Reigns of peace is he, you know, he's saving me, you know, he's keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise his name. Wonderful Jesus is the name. Mighty God and Counselor, Prince of peace is he, you know, he's saving me, you know, he's keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His royal holy name. Wonderful, Jesus is the me, mighty God and Counselor. Prince of peace is He, you know He's saving me, you know He's keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, you know what all he has done for me. Oh, my soul cries out, Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Yes, I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful, good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. Yes, I feel good in the Lord Christ Jesus. I feel good, wonderful, good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. Real, 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 real. Christ so real to me. I love him, friend, he gives me the victory. Many people doubt him, friend, but I can't do without him. That is why I love him so for he's so real to me. Do I wonder? Do I wonder? Yes, do I wonder why he said Christ loves me so? When I think of what he has done, talking against the one, it makes me wonder why he said Christ loves me so. Oh, glory, real, 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 real. Christ so real to me. I love him, what he gives me the victory. Many people doubt him, but I can't do without him. That is why I love him so for he so real to me. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me, mighty God and counselor. Reigns of peace is he, you know, he's saving me, you know, he's keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my redeemer, praise is Wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. Mighty God and Counselor, Prince of Peace is He, you know, saving me, you know, is keeping me from all sin and shame. 
Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His royal holy name. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is the name. Mighty God and Counselor, Prince of Peace is He, no saving me, no escaping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is the name. Mighty God and Counselor, Prince of Peace is He, no saving me, no escaping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His holy, royal, cleansing, saving name. No praise, praise the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> holy greetings to you, saints, friends. If there be any enemy, we greet you all. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank God for this honor and privilege yes, to be on another week yes, Lord. before you from the throne of grace and mercy yes, with another online service. Yes, Lord. We thank God for the multifold compilations <laughs> of unceasing blessings we have received and have been receiving magnanimously, yes, revelatorily. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah in partingly. Hallelujah in wonders and goodness. He's been good to us. Yes, Lord. So hallelujah. Surely goodness. And mercy shall follow me all the days, all the days of, of our lives. It surely shall now surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days all the days of all lives hallelujah and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord our oh God Forever and we shall feast at the table spread for us, yes, oh hallelujah. Now surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days, all the days of our lives, oh praise it. Now surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days, all the days of our lives, hallelujah. Now surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days. All the days of our lives, oh praise the Lord, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord, oh God, forever, and we shall feast at the table, spread for us so graciously, my Lord, my God, show the goodness, and mercy shall fall. All the days, all the days of our lives, we love you, Lord.
in the house of the Lord our God forever and we shall feast at the table spread for us graciously Jesus in me oh surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days, all the days of our lives, alleluia, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever, and we shall feast at the table spread for us in Jesus' name. Now surely goodness and mercy shall follow the vassal's family, oh yes, all the days, all the days of our lives. Lord, we are decreeing this, and we shall do it. Raise your hand on my shoulder, please. In the house of the Lord, oh God, for a and we shall feast at the table spread for us in Jesus' loving compassion and name. Thou surely goodness and mercy shall follow us of all the days, all the days of our lives. Oh, Jesus, we pray, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord graciously forever, and we shall feast at the table Spread for us eternally there in the heavens of 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 heaven. Oh, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days, all the days of our life. Only we're going to sing it over and over again. Say surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days, all the days of our lives in Jesus' name. Thou surely goodness thank the Lord and mercy shall follow us all the days, all the days. All life, let's worship him, sister, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord our oh God forever, and we shall feast at the table spread for us in Jesus' name. Enjoy goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days. All the days of our lives.
I think that was David's doing. Yes, Lord. We know not what he was going through, what hells he had been facing, what hordes of darkness might be against this man who was a king yes, over all twelve tribes of Israel, with all the nations round about him hating him. He must have been having tribulations and trials and birthed out of his spirit by the Holy Ghost that he dwelt in. In the scripture that says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restored my soul. He leads me to paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou, El Helion, is with me. Thy rod of thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me and my household. Follow my wife and her household all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever 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 I think I heard the word of God speak the things that are not as if they were that's what you're speaking today but this is a continuity this is a perpetuality this is a manifestation that will not cease until we see Jesus Amen, Amen It will be worth it when we see Jesus all sorrows will erase when we see Christ. One look upon his face, all sorrows will erase. So let's just run this race. Till the eastern sky burns by the trump of God. On the return of Christ Jesus with his angels to take us home. Can I borrow the Bible, please? Greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ, the brothers and sisters. Greetings to you, ministers of the gospel of the kingdom of God. Greeting to you, saints of the Most High God. Greeting to you, friends and well-wishers. Yes. And greetings to you, anyone who might be finished, friend or an enemy, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Father, I was to greet you in the name of His only begotten Son, yes. whom we represent and whom we serve Amen. with our spirits. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Like I always say, we are not on any ace. Yes, For the kingdom of God suffered violence and violence takes it by force. Yes, so even the song, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever, was not within my spirit. Yes. God birthed it at the right time because he wanted us to make a decree. A few yes. days ago I was meditating before the Lord, I suppose I can say, after seeking his face and I heard this in my spirit, the verse 4 of chapter 24 of Psalm. Hallelujah. But I want to read all of the scriptures. I don't know what the Lord was implying, but I take it in every way. When he was making a statement, he was correcting me, he was leading me, he was teaching me. I don't know, I apply it in every way. Today I want to share all of that scripture with you before we run any further because we are saved by grace. Hallelujah. And it's the word of God that counsels us, directs us, strengthens us. Make us who we ought to be. Yes, Lord. So it said here, mm -hmm. with authority and respect to the Lord God of hosts. It said in verse 1 of Psalm 24, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Yes, and that we must fully, especially as saints, understand. Though Satan is the God of the world, this world, because he has come down from the heavens where he was cast out into and come down here to distort the world and to come against Jesus. But God is still the Lord of the earth. Amen. So the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Amen. 
saints and sinners alike. Everyone, everything on the earth was created, is created for God. And without him, Jesus Christ was not anything made that was made. So he has an authority to speak his word. For he had founded the earth upon the floods and established it upon the... I'm sorry, for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Yes. And this is the verse that hit me in my heart and my mind and my soul and my all. God speaks once, he speaks twice, we can't resist it. I heard him saying, who shall I send into the hill of the Lord, addressing himself to me? I've been trembling with this word and about this word for the last week, God or who shall stand in his holy place? And he answered the question he asked. He said, He that hath clean hands. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Don't yes. use our hands to do wickedness. And a pure heart amen, amen. who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity. Ah, somewhere, sometimes he said that the sixth verse he said, Stop and think about it, Sila. But I want to put a seal at verse 3. I want to put a seal at verse 4. I want to put a seal at verse 5. Because we need to stop and think of the word of the living God. Hey, we serve the living, not a. If you ever hear me say, ah, God, please correct me, please forgive me. But there is no other God, no comparison, no run out. Hallelujah. We serve the awesome and wonderful Amen. God. Hallelujah. He that has clean hands and pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. David said, Who shall I send it to the hill of the Lord? Now, because of Paul's writing, Hallelujah, Paul says, We have come to Mount Zion. We have come to the city of God. We have come to the heavenly Jerusalem. So, who shall I send to those places? Those who have clean hands and pure heart. Mighty God, yes, Lord. Yes. Who have not, and doth not, and will not lift up our soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceptively. The Bible says the heart of man is deceitful. Hallelujah. Desperately wicked. Who can understand it? If we come to a place where we don't provoke a biblically, hallelujah, swear against the Lord. Hallelujah. May that practice deceit. We are beginning to get somewhere there. And then he says in verse 5, I just meant to read it. Yes, he shall receive that man, that woman, shall receive the blessing from the Lord. Yes, Father, we covet your yes, blessings. Yes, we Lord. seek for your yes, blessings. Yes, we seek at your feet for your blessings. Yes, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. This Hallelujah. is the generation of them that seek him, God. Yes, that God. seek thy face, O Jacob. Yes, Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in and sup with us, and he with us, and we with, with, with him. Who is, who is this King of glory? This is only one King, no other King like him. Yes. The Lord strong and almighty, yes. the Lord almighty in battle. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Who is this King, brothers and sisters of the Most High God? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. That's the Lord who we serve, who also inhabits us, he dwells us, and empowers us. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, your everlasting doors. And the sweet, humble um, King of glory shall come in and have fellowship with us. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. Plural. Plural is a warrior. He commands multiple cities of armies. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knows well. My substance but not hid from thee when I was curious to rot in the lowest parts of the earth. Psalm 139 says, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to attempt to trust the Lord to bring me through. Sing one of these older songs I've always loved. And I've never been able to sing these songs like I've heard them sung in those. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Presbyterian Church and Anglican Church and Baptist Church when they used to visit them. 
my God, heaven will come down. One service so I can get up right away. I'm going to try today. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you, kindly. God bless the whole world you and for it. When, when the morning, when the morning comes, we hear at four o'clock in the morning there was a bird that would chirp, and uh, something around four or five, you hear the cocks crowing. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Amen. But they would praise the Lord, and God would find food for them. We have been coming short of the glory of God by not going to bed on time and waking early with the dawn to praise the Lord. But this song says. When, when morning gives the skies, my heart awakened cries, may Jesus Christ be praised. In all our work and prayer, in Jesus we repair, may Jesus Christ be The word on high, the host of angels cry, may Jesus Christ be praised. Let mortals to oppress their voice in hymns and praise, may Jesus Christ be Let's hear its wide circle round in joyful notes resound. May Jesus Christ be praised. Let hear and see and sky from depth and height reply. May Jesus Christ be praised. The sun is in my mind, a soul is here I find. May Jesus Christ be praised. The night becomes as day when from the heart we say, May Jesus Christ be praised. You are the Savior of my soul. That's who you are. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Jesus. You're the Savior of the world. Say you are the Savior of of those souls, that's who you are. You are the Savior of, of our souls. Your name is Jesus in all the earth. Jesus in the sky and the sea. Your name is Jesus. He went down into hell where you went and set us free. Your name is Jesus the Christ, the Lord, and you are the Savior of all souls. Oh, praise the Lord. You are the Savior of all souls. Jesus, you are the Savior of all souls, night and day, throughout all our lives. But oh, your name is Jesus. Your name is Jesus. You are the Savior of our souls. That's who you are. You are the Savior of our souls. Your name is Jesus. Speak it through the principles and powers. Your name is Jesus. Jesus, to the rulers of darkness, your name is Jesus. You are Lord of all principalities and powers. You are the Savior of all those souls. That's who you are, my Lord. You are the Savior of 
mighty high. In the heart of my soul, I love you, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Sweep over my spirit today, tomorrow, for the rest of the week, and the rest of our lives on this earth. Yes, Lord. Forever we pray. My Lord in Father, Fatherless Billows of Love. Brothers and sisters, we are resting tonight, today, in this wonder, wonderful, 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 wonderful peace. <laughs> you know where we're resting? Resting sweetly in Jesus' control. I I, I, I take that Satan, the Lord God rebuke you. I sing it again to Jesus. We are resting today or tonight, we are wear hands. In Jesus' wonderful peace. So sublime. So <laughs> minister, 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 minister. Yes. Resting sweetly in Jesus' full control. Controls our lives night and day for we surrender all to Him. For we are kept from all danger by night and by day. We keep one all slowful that is for you to trap your down. That's a sword for you, a dragon. Hallelujah. While the clears of eternity roll and His glory is filling our souls. I, 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 I. We are resting, 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah. For the church of the living God, the redeemed of Jesus Christ, for we are kept from all danger by night, by night, by night, and by day. Yay, 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 yay. And Christ's glory is flooding our souls. Oh, wow, wow. Wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. We love you, Lord. That's why we don't find. That's why we can find. It's peace abiding within our hearts and minds. Yes, abiding in the marriage, abiding in the ministry, abiding the home, abiding the lineage, abiding the family. We are peacemakers. Hallelujah. Blessed are the peacemakers. But they shall be called the children of God. Hallelujah. And he thinks when I rise to that city of peace, I, 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 we are already citizens here, here. When they all for our peace, we shall see. That one strain of the song with your ransom shall sing. I, 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 I. In that heavenly kingdom, Shall be peace, peace, wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. We love your name. Sweep over my spirit forever. I pray in fire. Fathomless pillows of love. And methinks when I rise to that city of peace, where the offer of peace, I shall behold face to face to face to face to face for all eternity. Hallelujah to the Lamb. That one strain of the song. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. With the ransom will be in that heavenly, heavenly kingdom shall be. We 
love you, Lord. Also, are you here without comfort and rest? Marching down the road pathway of time. May Jesus, your friend, hear the shadows grow dim. Oh, accept this sweet peace, so sublime. I'll say this verse one more time for those who are out of Christ. The Spirit of God is saying, Also, are you here without comfort and rest? You're miserable, you're unstable. Are you marching down the rough pathway of time? Jesus is bidding you to come to him. Now make Jesus your personal friend. Hear the shadows grow dark because then Jesus will not be able to help. Oh, accept this sweet peace so sublime. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, peace, peace. Wonderful peace coming down from the Father above, oh yes, sweep over my spirit, forever I pray. In fathom, fathomless pillows of love, is the same Savior of my soul that's who he is his name is Jesus his name is Jesus you are the same of my soul that's who you are you are the Savior of my soul, your name is Jesus. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Jesus. You are all Savior, Lord and King. You are the Savior of all souls. That's who you are. You are the Savior of our souls. I feel led for you to do the invitation to the Lord now because we're going to another segment of the service. So, yes, so you can do the invitation for those souls to come to the Lord now because the service is not going as it's normally gone. Hallelujah. You are the Savior of all souls, that's who you are. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Jesus. Everything you're meant to do. You are the Savior of all souls, that's who you are. You are the Savior of all souls. Hallelujah to the Lamb. I'm hearing through all the life's line. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Jesus, the Word. And we welcome you, Father, Lord God Almighty. For there is no one like you, and no one can compare to you, O God. We thank you, O God, for the washing water of your Word. We thank you, O God, for the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
We thank you, O oh God, for you are a consuming fire. And we thank you, O oh God, for the forgiveness of our sins. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. And we give honor to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is my preservation. Praise the Lord. Who provides for us. Praise the Lord. And who make a way for us. We thank God for he is our mighty deliverer. He is the great I am. He is our vindicator. He is our compassor. He is our victory. And we thank God for the victory that he has given us. We are coming through victoriously in the mighty name of Jesus. I give honor to my husband, Minister Solomon Alcana Vassal. I thank God for choosing to be my companion, my husband, my lover, and my greatest intercessor of all in the name of Jesus. And I give honor to our spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor. Praise the Lord. I thank God for his life, for his compassion, and for his sacrifice. Glory to God. I thank God for his mission and commission. Praise the Lord on earth, O oh God. I thank God that we are part of the face-to-face -face covenant. And we thank God for his glory. We give God all the honor all the glory, all the praise for what he has done and for what he's about to do. And I give honor to our dear spiritual sister, praise God, minister and prophetess Glenn. Thank you, woman of God. We give honor to you for your faithfulness, for your love, for your compassion. We honor you and your mom and your son. And for all our relatives, my mother, my mother Norma Green, I give honor and God, I give God thanks for you, woman of God, woman of Zion. I thank God for my spiritual, my mother-in-law, Mrs. Louise Vassal, who is the matriarch of the Vassal lineage. And I thank God for your life and for accepting me as your daughter and for, um, you know, just welcoming me in your family and in your lineage. Thank God for everything, for what he has done and for what he's about to do. As the Spirit has led Minister Vassal, I'm going to continue, praise the Lord, to do thus say the Lord as we go before we are going into prayer thereafter, praise the Lord. And so the Lord has, 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 has um, um, met with us this week, as you see the posting on the <laughs> social media, Good glory time, to God. <laughs> And all that is posted with the Father, the Lord God Almighty in the clouds. And as Minister Vassal and Prophetess Glenn had shared, there's not even just one face, but there are multiples of faces. And there's a rainbow, there's a light. Mighty God, the manifestation of the glory of God is on earth. And we thank God for Apostle David E. Taylor for teaching us in the realm, praise the Lord, and the dimension of the Godhead that when we read the face-to-face -face book and the Jehovah book, glory to God, we will see the Father, mighty God, we will see, we will have a covenant with the Father where the Father will come and visit us, mighty God. I thank God for everything, for everything that he has done and for what he's about to do through this ministry, through this online virtual ministry with JMMI. I thank God for all the covenant that he has affiliated us with. Um, the mosaic lineage, glory to God, the face-to-face -face movement and the inheritance by lineage where we are able to meet with our dear and ancestors, our um, like Catherine Coolman, glory to God, and Wigglesworth, praise the Lord, and A.A. A. Allen, and all the great generals, I, and Oral Roberts, I'm just bored, so um, I'm learning about the generals, and Maricelo, God is good, I give God all the glory, all Hallelujah. the praise. And those that are behind the scenes, mighty God, Hallelujah. those that God are raising up and equipping for this end time movement. We thank God for your life, praise God for your family, and for your greatest commission, for your obedience unto the Father. God bless you. 
all and we love you from the bottom of Hallelujah. our hearts. Salute you. Thank God for our kingdom family Praise and God. our siblings, our relatives, our Amen. children, Zelavine and Anthony. Thank God for them and Minister Vassal's children. Glory to God and grandchildren. We give God all the glory. We give God all the praise for all that he has done and for what he's about to do in Amen. Jesus' name. So I'm going right ahead as Minister Vassal had inspired for me. So deliverance is defined as a rescue from bondage or danger. Deliverance in the Bible is the acts of God whereby he rescues his people from peril. In the Old Testament, deliverance, mighty God, is focused, hallelujah, primarily on God's removal of those who are in the midst of trouble or danger. Amen. He rescued his people Amen. from their enemies, Amen. praise the Lord, Amen. mighty God, Amen. as in 1 Samuel 17 verse 37 and 2 Kings 20 verse 6, and from the hand of the wicked, as in Psalm 7 verse 2 and Psalm 17 verse 13. He preserves them from famine, as in Psalms 33 verse 19, and from death, praise God, and the grave, hallelujah, mighty, mighty God, man of God. And so the most striking example of deliverance is the exodus from Egypt, as in Exodus 3 verse 8, or Exodus 6 verse 6. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, man of God. And so... Here is God defined as a deliverer of Israel, mighty God, he is the deliverer of Israel who rescue his people, not because they deserve to be rescued, but as an expression of his mercy and love and covenant, as in Psalms 51 verse 1 and Psalms, it's okay, 71 verse 2. In the New Testament, you can keep an eye on the recording. In the New Testament, God is always the subject and his people are always the object. Glory to God uh, of deliverance, mighty God. I'll repeat it again. In the New Testament, God is always the subject and his people are always the object of deliverance. The descriptions of temporal deliverance in the Old Testament serve as symbolic representations of the spiritual deliverance from sin, which is available only through Jesus Christ. All aspects of deliverance are available only through the person and work of Jesus Christ, who was himself delivered up for us, as in Amen. Romans 4, verse 25, Amen. Amen. mighty God, so that we would be delivered from eternal punishment for sin, only Jesus rescues us from the wrath to come, as 1 Thessalonians 1, verse 10. Another aspect of deliverance concerns the temporal. While believers are delivered once for all time from eternal punishment, we are also delivered from the trials of this life, as in 2 Peter 2, verse 9. Sometimes that deliverance is God simply walking through the trials by our side. Amen. Once for all time, for eternal punishment, I repeat, that we are also delivered from the trials of this life. Praise the Lord. I'm going back there. Sometimes that deliverance is God simply walking through the trials by our side, comforting, comforting, and encouraging us through them as he sees them to mature us in the faith. Paul assured the Corinthian believers that no temptation has seized you except what is common to man. Glory to God. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. As in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. Amen. 
In these cases, rescue is not immediate, but in due time after patient has had, praise the Lord, its perfect work, as in James 1, verse 2 to 4. God makes the way of escape simultaneously with the temptation which, in his perfect will and timing, he permissively arranges or allows for his people. Amen. Glory to God. Give me three more minutes. Man of God, God is good. Deliverance is often sought from evil spirits or the spirit of lust, jealousy, etc. It's important to understand that believers, we are already have eternal victory over Satan and demons, but we can be delivered from their influence in our lives by using two weapons God has given us as part of our spiritual armor with which we battle against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms as in Ephesians 6 verse 12 to 17 you can go there but as believer defends himself with the shield of faith and uses the offensive weapon of the word of God against these two no spirit can prevail by holding up the shield of faith we extinguish the flaming spiritual arrows they send against us against arrows of lust arrows of doubt arrows of guilt arrows of jealousy arrows of evil speech and all manner of temptations with praise the lord with the sword of the spirit Amen. which is the word of god Amen. we overcome the evil one by proving his temptation to be lies because he is the father of lies right. as in john 8 verse 44 right. john's second letter commends the young christians whose spiritual strength came from the word of the living god that is living in them by the offensive weapon of the truth, we overcome the evil one as 1 John 2 verse 14. Deliverance from sin, rescue from trials, and escape from the influence of a world in the control of the evil one come only through Christ, the Son of God who has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true and we are in him who is true even in his son jesus christ he is the true god and eternal life as first john 5 verse 19 to 20 and so the bible comes down to say that the bible says in romans 10 verse 9 to 11 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Please repeat after me. Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I believe that Jesus is the Christ. I believe that Jesus is the Christ. The Son of God. The Son of God. I believe I have life through his name. I believe I have life through his name. Grant me a heart. Please grant me a heart. Of repentance. Of true repentance. From my iniquities. From my iniquities. Transgressions. My transgressions. My presumptuous my sins. My presumptuous sins. Secret errors. My secret errors, secret faults, secret faults, fear, fears, evil, evil, death, death, judgments, judgments. Remember your word, Lord. Remember your word, Lord. As in Galatians one, as in Galatians one, verse four, verse four. Who gave himself? He who gave himself for our sins, for our sins, that he might, that he might deliver, deliver us, us from this, from this present, present evil world, evil 
world according according to the will to the will of God of God and and our Father our Father Ephesians one Ephesians one verse seven verse seven in whom in whom we have we have redemption, redemption through his blood through his blood the forgiveness of sin forgiveness of our sins according to the riches according to the riches of his grace of his grace I am trusting I am trusting for forgiveness for Forgiveness. Reconciliation. Reconciliation. Thank you. Thank you. For eternal. For eternal. Redemption. Redemption. And salvation. And salvation. In Jesus. In Jesus Christ. Christ. Victoriously. Victoriously. Triumphantly. Triumphantly. My personal Lord. My personal Lord. And Savior. And Savior. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. Mighty Praise God. Me. Thank you, man of God. And where do we go from here? And I will praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, O God, for your merciful. Hallelujah. You're gracious. Hallelujah. You're compassionate. Hallelujah, O oh God, you are our Savior. We thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago. In your word, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We thank you, O oh God, that you are reconciling us unto you. We thank you, O oh Father, that you're reconciling us unto Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, that you're reconciling us unto the Holy Spirit. We thank you, O oh God, that you're saving your people near and far. We thank you that you're forgiving us of our sins. You're forgiving us of our iniquities. You're forgiving us of our transgressions, our presumptuous sins, our secret errors, and our secret faults. We pray, O oh God, that you will draw a nigh to them that don't know you. We pray that you will manifest yourself to them that don't know you. And we pray, O oh God, that you will bring salvation to the world. We pray, O oh God, that you will bring salvation to your people. We know that you're coming again, O oh God. Whether we believe it again, O oh God, we know that you're coming. For your word says we must repent ye therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent ye therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent ye therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And we pray for your mercy, O God, upon this land, O God, that no judgments will fall upon your people, no judgments will fall upon your nations, no calamities, no diseases, no sickness, O God, no earthquake, no famine in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O God, for your merciful unto us. You are Alpha, you're Omega, you're the beginning, you're the end, you're the first and the last. And we thank you for faith in you, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, man of God, I thank you. And I give honor and we're going to go into the prayer as we can go back to the prayer after. Minister. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Merciful Father. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. The Bible declares that those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons. And so the Lord has wanted us to Take care of the unsaved today. There we continue with the service. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Do you want to take your talk about? Yeah, really hard. Okay. Glory to God. Okay, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise Him, praise Him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. Sing over earth His wonderful love proclaim. Hail Him, hail Him, highest archangels in glory. Strength and honor give to His holy name. Light. 
a shepherd, like a shepherd. <laughs> I hear it. Like a shepherd, Jesus will guide his children in his arms. He'll carry them all day long. Praise him, praise him, tell of his excellent greatness. Praise him, praise him, every joyful song. <laughs> Somebody reminded us yesterday that before we go to war, we must praise the Lord at the true lights. Hallelujah. I think that was King Joseph Hatt. Yeah, the Lord instructed him to put the praisers ahead of him because the army he was facing was far too big for him to deal with but Jesus and God in Abyssal praise so they had a praise session and set the praisers before praise him praise him Jesus so oh blessed redeemer for our sins Church of living God. He suffered and bled and died. He is our rock, our hope of eternal salvation. Hail him, hail him, Jesus the crucified. Let us sound his praises. Jesus who bore us sorrows, love what bound. Wonderful, deep, and strong. Praise Him, praise Him. Tell of His excellent greatness. Praise Him, praise Him. Every joyful song. Praise Jesus, praise our God, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. Heavenly portals, loud with Hosanna's ring. Jesus, Savior, reign forever and ever. Crown him, crown him, prophet and priest and king. Christ is returning. Over the world victorious, power and glory unto the Lord belongs. Praise Him, praise Him, tell of His excellent greatness. Praise Him, praise Him, every joyful song. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. <laughs> Sing like never before, O oh my soul, Lord, I worship Your holy name. Can I do it again? Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Bless, bless His own holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul. I worship Your holy name. All the sun comes up. It's a new day, darling. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my sisters. Worship is only me. 
rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness we will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for all heart to find. Never before, 
Yeah. Yes, Father. Yeah. Thank you, God. You are forgiving some of my sins, God. I'm not standing in the gap, God. I'm not standing in the gap, God. I'm standing in the gap, God. We need your forgiveness. So forgive us of our sins. Forgive us what we did right now. Oh, God. Forgive us of our sins. We need your forgiveness. Oh, yes, God. Oh, God. We thank you, Baba Axe Prophetess Crystal Glenn. We thank you for that weapon of war. We thank God that we are blood warriors. As our <laughs> spiritual father says, we are in an army. Praise the Lord. And we use scepters and we take crowns. Praise the Lord. And we thank God that we are in this battle and we are not defeated. We thank God that we have already got the victory so we're fighting from victory Amen. so we give God all the glory all the praise Amen. for the victory because we are more than victorious Amen. men of God God bless you I don't know if you want to take over but I thank God for you women of God God bless you so much yes yeah let me put this here yeah mm -hmm. yes Lord hallelujah we give God all the glory, all the praise for what he have done and for what he's about to do. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Man of God, thank you, Jesus. You can take over. We're going to see as the Lord does. Praise the Lord, mighty God. Thank you so much. It's time for us to share from Father's heart, his word, the clarity authority and power for Jesus the Christ has made us according to Revelation chapter 1 verse 6. Mm -hmm. He made us kings and priests to the Father to execute his word here on earth. And so without reservation to any man, we stand as his oracles and declare thus saying of the Lord. We thank God for the chosen prophetess is used to pray this morning's prayer as to this evening's morning. There is no night in the spirit. And that prayer was prayed prophetically without any communication made to her by any of us. For the Spirit of God has spoken. And I wasn't really done that but I want to for my position also to give honor to the Father of all spirits, 
who watches over his word to perform his written word, his spoken word, his living word in our lives. And his word shall not return to him void, but shall accomplish that for which he sends his word to accomplish. He is decisive in his doing, and no man can stop it. He is also saints of the most high God and to those who are skeptical of the things of God. A man of war and he does not play. He commands armies. He is the Lord God of hosts. He gives no respect to any man. The Bible says he honors only his word. So that's why it's good for us to live his word. Let his word live through us that his honor will be upon us. So this moment, I want to share God's word with you, fearing and revering only him and loving my fellow men. I want to do it in humility and meekness. And so I thank the Lord for your, the resting of your Shekinah glory upon me, your person today. I am totally, restfully, and trusting and dependent on thee from A to Z of my life. And especially when I have to present your word to your people, I do this with much, much fear and reverence. So I invite you to take over my total being today. Father, in Jesus' name, and do your thing. We also honor the Son of the living God. Without Him, we would not have been reconciled to the Father. We would not have known God as Father anymore. We would have been waiting to face His wrath and His judgment. So we thank God for His Son, the man Christ Jesus, the God man Christ Jesus, who went to the cross of Calvary, ultimately, ultimately setting us free from the wrath of God to come. Cleansing us from our sin and presenting us to the Father, making us hears and joint hears with Him. We honor you, Christ Jesus. We honor you, Heavenly Father. And we honor the Holy Ghost, that Jesus Christ. Pray the Father to send into the world that came on the day of Pentecost like a mighty rushing wind with tongues of fire resting on the heads of the 120 people that was in the upper room. Since that the church has been birthed, a baby to the kingdom of God. This morning I want to share God's word with clarity, with power, with precision, directing it to who it may belong. And I want to repeat, and I'm repeating, I'm directing this word today by the anointing of the Holy Ghost to whom it belongs. And I want to say, I do say, I do say another time, that this word belongs to whom it belongs, and it should not be received by anyone who doesn't have the right to receive this word. I bless my mother who has been my first Bible in example. And I thank God for giving her 90, 94 nights here. Yeah. What's her age? Uh, she's 97. Okay, so I thought she was only 96, but she's going 97 years on this earth. A lady that I have been admiring, the last time I saw her, I specified this over and over again. I sat looking on her as my wife was conversing with her, and I couldn't say a word. I was looking at a living miracle. So I cannot lock faith because I've seen faith in action and the one that gave birth to me through death. So we honor you, Mother Louise Vassal, in your 97th year, hallelujah, as we cruise into the 100 plus on this earth unless Jesus Christ came before. Because he's the God of, he's the God of the living and not of the dead. Hallelujah. And if we live our lives under the pattern of Abraham, we should cut 80 years and beyond because of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Hallelujah. I honor also the dear lady who is called Miss Mama Green who birthed this rare piece of jewel mm -hmm. that God the Holy Ghost indwells. 
Jesus Christ enthroned on her heart, and the Father have her fully in his care. God bless you, woman of God, Mother Bree, you did a wonderful job. And I don't want to take any more time to testify right now, because it's really long, hallelujah. But thank you, honey. Hallelujah, but I pause this not a bit down before I talk about my mother. We honor our straight and father. A very rare vessel in God's hand. One that's terribly misunderstood. Yes, at the same time, one that is greatly loved. Hallelujah. First by the Father, the Son of the Holy Ghost, and by the true saints of the Most High God. Yes, Father. I cannot contain myself of the God in prison. <laughs> <laughs> he has done more than what many has done. Since Jesus Christ left this earth, he has walked a very strong sacrificial life. Set an example for us. And, uh, we thank God for covering under his mantle. As the Lord did show my wife a vision of him fighting for us. Glory to God. Hear us say people because people simple. Somebody put something on the Facebook this morning talking about intercessors. We should take them simple. Hallelujah. This man is a, a, an apostle of God. He's an intercessor. He's a prophet. Hallelujah. Yes, my God is an evangelist. Hallelujah. A pastor. Yes, and the teacher, he's a shepherd under the Father yes, and under Jesus Christ. And we salute you today, Hallelujah. Doctor. Yes, and you don't, you don't, you don't put that up for but we know that you're a doctor according to man setting, mm -hmm. but you're an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. We honor you today, you're shut away, Nestor, and we do our little bit to best to um, shut away with you when we can. We are not up about this. We came in this past weekend. And we are enjoying shopping in mm -hmm. as you set the example for us. So we bless you, Apostle David, and your yeah. whole yeah. uh, movement, Jane and I, face to face yes. movement. We bless your executive staff and prophets, prophetesses, um, pastors, and the whole team of ministers and uh, volunteers, and everyone that stands by you and support you. So we honor you yeah. today. In Jesus' name, it's a good thing to have met you. And God was very gracious to us for us to see you yes, face to face. Learn a little bit practically of your personality. The lion of the lamb. <laughs> I'm taking my time because when God honors God, one should be grateful. So we have been favored yes, worshiping for a little, a little church that was solid and significant to other churches, so to speak, not even known. And this great man took the opportunity from God to come to visit us in that humble assembly yes, and it's giving us a chance to meet in face to face we bless you sir yes, we just want to follow your footsteps and uh, be able to do even what one of your big toe has done in yes, ministry mm -hmm. god bless you and your children god bless your life god bless your body soul and spirit god bless your ministry and all that pertains unto your life and godliness and i must what my wife said about this rear young lady, prophetess Krista Glenn, who takes time to, by God's grace and favor and permission, introduce herself to us. You've got to know her as a true saint of the Most High God, very loving child of God, so loving that she had to be cautioned. Not to become poverty, overgiving and overloving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. God, yes, God wants us to walk in wisdom and we can give until we give off our very soul and short in our lives. That's how loving this woman has been. This lady has been yes, we have been faith favored of God to have our relationship, our relationship, our sistership. Hallelujah, closely with her and we bless her for her prayers every Sunday. Don't hear how busy she is and she's crazy to busy. Mm -hmm. She takes time out to send us a prayer even if she must only do it this morning. Hallelujah. And not only that, she does all she can to be on board with us. Online service. There, the Bible speaks of those who 
I think it's here we can spend time to show love to those who are rejected, despised, forsaken, tribulated, persecuted. Hallelujah. Not many want to be associated with certain people in the church. I'm talking about in the so called church. But we thank God for this woman who makes a difference and we pray that God will preserve this saint of the Most High God and her mama and her son and make them an oracle's testimony in this world. We honor you, woman of God. You deserve it. And we ain't waiting for more time of sickness and nothing, nothing at all to happen to you to come and stand and say she was and she was, she was. We give to you what you deserve now. Yes, May God bless you as you stand where you stand with Apostle David Taylor in all humility, but still remember those who are where we're at. God bless you richly and God exalt in his own way and time in Jesus' name. I think it's time yes, that I begin to address yes, the word of God to where it belongs. Yes, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus Christ says these words are spirit and life. And he is technically also saying that when we are speaking the word of God, whether verbally, not verbally, manifestly or otherwise, we are speaking words of spirit and death. If we are not speaking life, we are speaking death. The word of God said, the word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing and dividing the sun that joins the marrow, soul and spirit. Discerning the heart and the contents of the thoughts. I think I have I missed a little bit there. Hallelujah. But well, the word of God is living and powerful. Truly my soul waited upon God. I think the psalmist said in Psalm 61. Hallelujah. And my soul not necessarily easily contentedly want to wait upon God because of the whole nature that it inhabits our guts from all four parents. But I thank God for the word of God that constrains me, yes, that Lord. teaches me that they that wait on the Lord God of hosts, the greatest of great to wait on. Amen shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. There's one psalm that says the end of Psalm 27. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So one like me who has been impatient, I can say probably all of, or most of my life, I'm learning to wait upon the great I am because waiting upon him is very, very important. And patience is one of the fruit of the Spirit, even flowing into long suffering. So, truly, my soul, my family, my dear wife, and myself, our souls, wait upon the great I am Yahweh. From him cometh our deliverance, our salvation. The people of God in Egypt, the Israelites were very much God's people, but they needed salvation. They needed a deliverance from captivity. Hallelujah, mighty God. Praise God. Mm. Sometimes God allows us in circumstances and places yes. for his glory. And we complain because we don't fully understand the mystery of God. But he watches over his word when we are in captivity, mm. where we are in situations beyond our control, yes. living for him. Yes, and there is a time when he'll come yes. as we continue to cry to him. Because God told Moses that the children of Israel were crying to him, so do I call you to send you down to deliver them. Hallelujah. And as God delivered those millions of people, after 430 years of captivity, God has planned to deliver those of us that must include myself because we have something to be delivered from one way or the other. But he has a plan and a time to deliver. He told Abraham, but it was only Abraham that his children would be in captivity for 400 years. But when the time of the Amorites has come, when their sin is maximized, he will go down and visit them and deliver them. And what a deliverance that was. That's the God we are talking about. Hallelujah to the Lamb. 
Hallelujah. He, the Almighty God, El Elion, El Shaddai, Elohim Adonai, He only is my rock and my salvation. Be He known unto you, principalities and powers and instruments of the principalities and powers. You witchcraft workers, you hub your workers, you that necromancers, hallelujah, over your heart, you delirance workers, hallelujah, spirits of darkness. He only, he only is my rock and my salvation. So in the rock, we will hide in the shadows, we'll abide when the storms of life are raging over us. In the rock we hide, we can hear the wind and the storm. When we're hidden in the rock, but we have no fear for Jesus walks beside us. And we are sheltered in the arms of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And we fear no foe for Jesus walks beside us. And we're sheltered in his holy heart. Praise God. Praise God. And we, he, the Almighty God, is our defense. There is no other one that can prevent him from defending his flock. Hallelujah. From defending his sheep, from defending his lamb in a personal way and or a collective way. He is our defense. He is the defense of the church of the redeemed, of the kings and the priests of the kingdom of God. We shall not be greatly moved. Hallelujah, mighty God. Praise the Lord. Thank we you. must declare God's word. Yes, and there is a time and a place for everything under the sun. Yes, I wait upon God for today. And I just give myself to him. Yes, I have not been studying. All I do is give myself to him. And hearing what the Father is saying to me. Yes. The Bible says in two chapters, Revelation 3 and 4. We have to hear what the Spirit of God is saying to us. We are to be patient in tribulation. Hallelujah. We are to endure tribulations. Praise God. He is my defense in the courts of law, in the courts of heaven, in the courts of the minds of my enemies and my foes, in the courts of every court that there is. He is our defense. He is the defending person. The only great I am that can defend you truly and nobody can take the court and nobody can arrest him and he defends in his righteousness be thou glorified father be thou glorified father be thou enthroned in our hearts and our lives be thou glorified be thou exalted Jesus we love you today and we love you forever hallelujah how long you enemies of our soul will you imagine mischief against a man and or a woman or a family of God he shall be slain, all of you. This is the word of God, and right in dividing it. How long will you imagine mischief and fight against God's people? You shall be slain, all of you, say the word of God. As a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. Hallelujah. I was finished worshiping the Lord in the fourth watch hour, and I sat down, and I heard him speak. This is my spirit as a bowing wall shall ye be and as a tottering fence you enemy of our souls you wicked witchcraft workers you sorcerers you you help your workers you sit in the courts also you sit in the so-called church you are sitting in religious places you're sitting in law places hallelujah and peanut places but how long shall ye fight against the son of the living god ye shall become hallelujah you shall be slain, all of you, as a bobbing wall, and sh shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. This is the word of God that I'm sending it forth this morning. Any part of the earth it belongs, anyone it belongs to, may this word manifest in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is God who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight, so that a war is broken by my arm. Hallelujah. It is God that girds with strength, making my ways perfect, making my feet like high feet, setting me up on my high places, teaching my hands to war and my fingers to fight, so that a bow of steel in the spirit is broken by my harm in, in the spirit, by the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I raise every weapon against us today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. They also only consult to cast him down from his excellency. When you strive in the spirit, there are spirits that will come to try to cast.
cast you down from where God has exalted you. But the word of God says, stand and have been done all to stand against the wives of the enemy. For we are stand as a Rabbathan. Every force of damage that comes before you must move. That's why the Lord commands us to stand. Hallelujah. 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 I give you praise, Father. I give you worship, Jesus. Reverence you, Holy Ghost. Salute your angels who are with us, yes, fighting Lord. with us and for us. Glory to God. Yes, the only consult to cast in down from His Excellency. So when you find the principles is coming against you, manifesting, stealing it through natural things, you've got to realize there's a force behind it. There are those who are sold out to the devil like or those of us who are sold out to the Lord. Hallelujah. They are high in witchcraft and they mingle amongst us. And we must fight back with the sword of the spirit and send the horror of God in Mahasatamahaya into their hearts. Hallelujah. Cut asunder and destroy the plans of the enemy because we must live and declare the word of the living God. We ain't going to live on this earth sick and, and fickle in our mind. Hallelujah. Because principles and powers have thought our lives so we cannot manifest. We are kings and priests, we are given dominion and authority to walk over principles and powers and dethrone them and let their instruments repent in the world. And God will deal with them because no man can fight against God and overcome. Glory to God. So we are standing on the rock of ages, we are free from all the storms that rage. We are rich, but not from Satan's wages. Standing on the solid rock, sheltered in the rock, anchored to the rock. Our souls are found an anchor in Jesus Christ, and we have nowhere to go for He's the word of eternal life. Yes. Glory to God yes. in the highest. We have found a friend in this man. Oh God, He's a personal friend who speaks to us than a brother. I was driving my wife respectfully and honorably and respectfully. Yeah. And Friday, I picked her from work, worked like a beast. Because of the power of the Holy Ghost and the love of God inside of her, and not complaining, she live a sacrificial life. And I honor you, one of God, and I honor the Christ inside of you. Hallelujah. And I think her father is bigger. She thinks a lot, she talks a lot. She's very multiple gifted and multiple talented. She sees everything, she sees people's cares and needs, and she just overburden herself. They're going to take a break and come in the car for half an hour, so just relax. Let the Lord renew you, hallelujah, and give you more strength to carry on. So we'll pick her up on Friday, on the Arabian. The Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, let us just start praying. My God, and she was very cooperative and very submissive and very cooperative and very, very helpful because I appreciate the cooperation. Hallelujah, we, the Lord directed us where to drive. I would drive and avoid the busier area and the area that seems to be so kind of, so to speak. But the Lord commissioned me to drive by there. And we drove through there praying and asked the Lord to bless this country as we celebrate this long weekend and bless the United States as we in a twin way celebrate this long weekend. We need peace on the earth. We need peace in these continents. We ask Him to bless Niagara Falls. We see the throng of souls that needs to be saved and or delivered. All kinds of nationalities and peoples coming from all over the world. And the Spirit of God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me see them like a drug, like a fish. A people in the sea that need to throw the drug me took and bring them into the kingdom. And I was praying, thy kingdom come thy will be done. And this little lady kept on saying, Solomon, there is, there, is, there is a rainbow in the cloud. We not only see it over the falls, either of the falls. You know, but God does this thing anyway, wants to do it. And I was so, you know, in myself, I was just doing what I could do the best. I said, I don't see the rainbow. And I was driving, so I couldn't focus. Because some place it was highly treated. And we went to park where we normally park and get some free Wi Fi and do our ministry. So now we take a walk and admire the atmosphere and the scenes. But we came there or came by there. There was no place for us to park. We knew of another place, so we proceed to that place. I'm talking about the God Hallelujah. of love Hallelujah. and precision yes. and direction yes. when we allow Him. Yes, Lord Jesus. And we drove to this other place that is. Well, it's not not significant of the first one, but it's a humble little place. And we got there, the parking also conveniently for us to get the Wi-Fi was not available. And Mrs. Bassett said, 
Let's go to the other area. Maybe we might get the wife out there. So little me, I let her listen to the voice of the Lord. She's very humble and she talks very humble. And I have the Lord to teach me practical humility and meekness. I don't want the fear of God in my head. I want to learn the practical story. We started to drive to that area when I when we proceed to exit that we were stopped, we saw this beautiful. I don't think I can tell it like you. Can you tell it, baby? My God. And so as we were traveling and I said, Mr. Vassal, this is nothing like before. And it's so funny because it wasn't raining. When we were driving along the Niagara Parkway, there was no rain. And there was a slight one over the mist as we entered. And I said, Minister Vassal, this rainbow is following us. I've never seen it before. It's like when there's time when we see it on the right, and there's time when it was actually on the left. And as we drove to the new park area, I said, Minister Vassal, something is unusual. The ceiling of the clouds, like it came down, and it was just white. Where we were sitting in the car, we parked there, and there were people there. And so we, I, I know my face is a little bit hidden under your high podium, because Minister Vassa. And so we sat there and I, I was really tired as Minister Vassa said, I was just finishing a five day work week or four day rather, five. And um, it was Friday and I said, I wasn't even in the mood to do a video or to do picture taking. Normally, Minister Vassa said, no, no, put the seat back and relax your mind, stay off the phone and clear your mind. And I said, oh my God, no, I have to take this. This is a video. And so when Minister Vassal finally parked, and I said, look, and he started looking out the window because there was not like a designated park, but we parked where we were able to see from our windshield. And Minister Vassal started seeing what I was actually talking about. And I said, Minister Vassal, this is the rainbow. This is like, not the rainbow that is over the water, but this is a rainbow in the throne room of God because this was just over the road. It was actually an arch. Hold this, Minister Vassal. It was arched over the road. And Minister Vassal, you said we were like southwest. It oh, was northwest. northwest. And it was over the road, but there was a low ceiling, and you could see the right of the rainbow, you could see the left of the rainbow, and the sun was so sparkle, it was so shiny. And I'm telling you, I so happen to have my dark shades because that's the darkest shade that I have, that I can actually look into that gleaming light. And so I was looking afar out, but the sky was, it's like the sky has came down, the ceiling of the sky came down, and on the right we saw the rainbow, on the left there was a rainbow, and the sun was just peeking through so the clouds. The My the God. And then as we sat there and look, I said, Minister Vassal, you could actually see a little bit of glimpse at the top of the rainbow and it was arching over the sun and i'm telling you it was so magnificent i must have this part that excited me yes. so much i don't know how i didn't fall because i wasn't even the way i was walking <laughs> there, on both ends where the rainbow uh, were on the right on the left of the sun at equal distances the way the rainbow starts yeah. there were mini suns yes literally yes. shining mini sun that was yeah. what excites me most, God. and I yeah. couldn't but stop yes, Lord. doing videos yes. and picture yes, taking. Lord. So I just want to just add to it that there were many suns in the beginning portions of the rainbow I from know. one end to the other. And the faces was just so magnificent. And you know that with our natural eyes, people might think that we are some kind of extraordinary, I'm going to use that, because they don't see what we see. But I did remember the Lord gave me a dream and showed me that he's going to come down in the cloud. And as the spectators and people around you that don't know that you could see the face of the Lord and that you could see the face of Jesus and Jehovah, yeah. they would think, are these people really crazy? 
But I'm letting you know that God says he's coming down in the clouds. As our dear spiritual father has spoken, he has prophesied, he has seen the covenant. Apostle David E. Taylor with the Jehovah and Jesus Christ himself coming down in the cloud. I want to let you know that it is so tangible, that feeling, the glory. Sometimes Minister Vassal just worship. He prays and he pray. And all I can do is just lament in the spirit. When I see the goodness of God, when I see the glory of God, when we feel the presence of God, it is so evident that God is here with our spiritual father on earth as he's shutting in glory to God. God is coming down and he is coming to meet his people whether we believe it or not. He's visiting us. He's coming to visit us and he's coming to deliver us from the hands of the evil one. And so all we have to do, if you're just joining, we had brought the ministry service to a different altar and so we did the deliverance uh, message. We did the prayer, praise the Lord. But God is able to do what he said he will do. He's saving his people. He is coming down in the clouds. And he's going to manifest himself so tangible that the world of unbelief is going to see his glory. Whether they believe it or not, it is going to happen. And it's already began because we see it with our spiritual eyes. We see it with our natural eyes and those that are unbelief are going to see the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not the speaker but thank you man of God for um, bringing such a um, note to that vision, that visitation and that beautiful glory manifestation of the Father and the Ghost and the Holy Godhead. Glory to God. Thank you, one of God. I'm too excited to talk to you. I don't know how to speak. I get really excited when I speak fast, you know. I, I, God, God will meet us at the point of His need. God will condition atmosphere and meet us and speak to us in a personal way and a collective way when we give ourselves to the sacrifices He calls us to. He manifests Himself to you at His own time and He does it intimately and personally, and no one can stop it. A few years ago, I have shared this testimony over and over. I left the, the funeralization of the past wife. I had a very anointed woman of God, and I was dangerously tired until my body hurts. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But I concluded our house I was staying for a month from our death and burial and the three days afterward. I concluded with pain in every organ and member of my body from head to foot. I concluded there's no way I can go to bed. Unless I get outside, it was spring, late spring. Unless I get outside and give them all some thanksgiving and some praise. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, the Bible said, God, and have it all praises. And it's not it all praises, there is from rep to rep and glory to glory and experience to experience. And when I went outside and I started walking towards the east, I could see light going around, the light, some light coming from some stadium, but the direction I thought the light was coming from. There was no building there, it was open lot. No building could have been built there unless it could actually. Yes, and I kept on looking at this light, but then the Lord opened my eyes and said, Minister Basil, Minister Krikisha tried to explain a word about spiritually to see beyond what we see naturally, because it wasn't a natural light. But then I beheld as I walked east, four beings, four of the waves that he seek and it is equal one and ten. Both chapters saw, yes. and I saw that when they went to, so they made a semi-turn, the light radiated from them, hallelujah. And they made a semi-turn clockwise, and they came together, and they hit each other from all and half. God kept on doing that. And what I'm driving at, that the Lord conditioned the atmosphere. Yes. He brought a cloudy atmosphere, a foggy atmosphere, yes. so he could manifest his power. I love Jesus. I'm, I cannot begin to love my traditions and triumph because there were some glory out, man. And for an hour and a half, this child, the son of the living God, kept on walking back and forward. When I was going east, those beings were beside me. I'm on the same position on the other side of the road. 
just in front and above the houses. And when I was going back west, praise the Lord, and giving thanks to my entire self, they were on the right side and they were at the same height, doing the same thing. And across at the, at the eastern side of the intersection and the northeastern side, there were two more beings manifesting. What I'm saying that God will do anything possible need yes, to do Lord, to show you His power. Yes, Glory to God. Right, God. I, I love to testify of the goodness of God yes, because the goodness of God leads us to repentance, you know. God is favorable. Amen. God is intimate. And I believe the Bible said the Spirit of God goes everywhere convincing men of sin. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit will convince us of sin and righteousness. So every man, there be no man, woman, boy, and girl, even where the word of God is not preached who does not have a conviction of the Lord God of host. Yes, Lord. I'm going to go back to my message. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. God. Yes. They consult the class. God's people down from their excellencies. Yeah. They delight in lies. They are liars, ardent liars. If you cannot discern the spirit of lies in them, you will believe them. They delight in lies. They are blessed with their mouths. Mouth, but if you look in their faces, why they are so called blessing, you can see how oh, evil their face is because face reflects the soul. But they curse in one while they're blessing with the mouth. And the sick amongst the believers in the church do they even sit in the rostrum? They are even pastors and evangelists. Hallelujah. Oh and if such of one church denomination once, hallelujah, praise God, he said, I will go out there, but I had to go there with this lady who asked the Lord, if she will go with her, she will go, hallelujah. And um, when you resist these people, they fight against you. When, when their expectation come to a place that they desire, they preach against you right in front of you. The congregation of hundreds of people showing up that they've never been to jail, but you've been to jail. They, they, they glory in what happened to you. You did not know that God gives a word to preserve you from their wicked, iniquitous plans. Yes, Lord Jesus. Mighty deliverance. Mighty God. Mighty, mighty. If we're serving God, serving Him, He will lead us into all truth. He will preserve us, and when He speaks to us, we are to hear. Yes, I want to leave that part for a while. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, they are blessed with them all, but they are cursed in one day. And the writer here says, Talk and think about it. Says, Sila. Yes, Lord, think about this because I know of saying that the most high God who would receive God's word about the fact that the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked and walking this so called innocence until the cut her off long before her time couldn't finish her ministry, couldn't finish her destiny. No one takes my life. I live my life to the full and I take another life and live another life on this earth. I lay my life down when I finish what God has done. Hallelujah for me and will for me to do. Hallelujah. Praise God. So here it says, My soul, wait thou upon God, for my expectation is from Him. Yes, Lord Jesus. And we here is where a lot of us fail because we're not willing to do the long suffering and manifest the patience and the temperance and the goodness and the love and the joy and the peace through it all. But do you not know the Lord teaches us His word? And then he tests us to prove us. And while he's testing us to prove us, he's demonstrating us to the very enemies of our soul for his glory. Yes, and when he really he delivers. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. For my expectation is from God. Mm -hmm. He only is my rock. Mm -hmm. And my salvation, which means deliverance. Mm -hmm. He told Moses, you stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Salvation is deliverance, not just merely getting saved, but deliverance of any willing and he has captivated us. He is my defense against the word of God saying, I shall not be moved, devil. Hallelujah, under your instruments. I shall not be moved. God is my salvation and my glory. Hallelujah, mighty God. Glorious, thank you. Hallelujah. He glorifies his people, those whom he predestined, he calls, he sanctifies and he glorifies us. And we pass the praise back to him. Hallelujah. In God is our salvation, church, the living God, redeemed of the Lord, and our glory. The rock of our strength and our refuge is in God Almighty, all powerful, and he fights dreadfully. Hallelujah, mighty God. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. I ask him to hide me when he's fighting my enemies. I don't want to see it to have compassion. The kind of false compassion because God is not quick and easy to do his thing when he's doing his things right on time. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Yes, we preach salvation. But some don't want salvation. Some have been sold out diabolically to the wicked enemy and is used of the enemy. I've been a public servant for over 40 years. I've met them too. I was in the airport one day and one came up a plane and walked to me and said, Can you take me? I don't know this one from. I've not known her since this man before. Was just coming from Jamaica, doing his witchcraft, and he wanted me to take him. He came directly to me. Praise God and told me who he was. Hallelujah. So I'm not talking nonsense. The Bible speaks it and I've experienced it. Hallelujah. The rock of my strength is my God and my refuge. Trust in him at all times. I'm going to go to the fast if I must. Ye people. Hear what the Bible says. It says, trust in God at all times. And especially when things look impossible. Because he's the God of impossibility. If he does not manifest these things in our lives, then we don't really know him. And he has that love that we see to be impossible for him to work out his salvation and his deliverance and demonstrate himself to others. So, Trust in him. Amen, amen. At all times, ye people. Yes, Lord. Pour out your heart before him. Yes, Lord. And when you pour out your heart, like I'm dislocated, even gives instruction what to do, where to do, when to do. You wait for the time to do it. God is a refuge for the amen. body of Christ. Amen. God is a refuge for this. You're truly speaking. God is a refuge for this lady. God is a refuge for our family. Because we depend only on him. We won't even join with those in this so-called church who are living in clique. And support each other in their iniquitous way and seem to be prosperous. Not interested in that. Let God do his thing in his own time. I've been through before. I've experienced it before. Not that I've only believed it. I've seen it. I've experienced waiting on him. When it looked ugly and bad. And he shows up yes, and confirm the enemy. I'm yes, going to another area Amen. of the scriptures. Hallelujah. Yes, when he allows me, this is the I believe. Praise God. Psalm 61, right? Mm -hmm. Psalm 61. You have that one to talk about. Mm -hmm. Surely men. Mm -hmm. And he said, see I'm here again. So stop. Meditate. Think about this. Surely men of low degree are vanity. Mm -hmm. And men of high degree are reminded. The Bible says, trust not, put your trust in men. For they will fail. Put that your trust in. I want to put what the, 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 the modern time would say. Then it said to be princes. Because they had that kind of order and time to them. But governments. Oh my God. My God. Governments. From different positions. Mm -hmm. Bosses. Men who have control. Women who have control here and there. Don't put your trust in the body. The Bible says trust only in the Lord. For they will fail. And even when they not really want to fail because you make them a God, they will fail. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. That's how God sees them. Yes, Lord. <laughs> the God who weighs the mountain in scales. And the hills in balance or vice versa. He's weighing their spirit and he sees how light they are. They're not really truthful. Trust not in oppression and become not vain in a robbery. Body of Christ, saints of the Most High God, don't follow the abnormal norm. Stand your tests. Yes, Communicating to your brother from the African country yes, who is in dire need and when he asks a man here to help, the only thing I can give is counsel and pray for him. And then finally sent me a word. My God, perfect Kali. It's good to love God's people. Don't cast off God's people. Because at times the people you're casting off are prophets and intercessors. Very important in God's hand. And doesn't matter who they are. Just love them. And he sent that message to me. I wasn't able to check it already. So I had to check the time. I checked it. But when I checked it, it was the right time. Amen. After God manifested his power on Friday Amen. evening. My God, we are so awesome and so wonderful. We need to love each other. Hallelujah. Trust mm -hmm. so not in oppression, brethren. And become not vain in robbery. Mm -hmm. 
Don't follow that mom on bond. This dog eat dog work. Yeah. If you employ to a person, a place, a system that is make you, gonna make you lose your salvation, stand at the rock and manifest the truth. Yeah. Have faith in God because the earth is the Lord that raised for the earth. And the fullness thereof, the world and the other drugs there. You don't conceive in your heart that they're going to fire you. You don't speak these things in being. Glory to God. You speak what you want. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, the Bible says we overcome that all drug and by the words of all testimonies and the blood of the Lamb. You don't speak what they're going to do, what you think they're going to do, or what normally happens. You speak the word of God and you stand, and God will fight for you. Yeah. Amen, amen. Mighty God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Set not your heart. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Mm -hmm. God, our Father, has spoken once. Twice have I heard this. Listen, brethren, take this one. The power, almighty power, belongeth unto God, Hallelujah. our Father. Hallelujah, mighty God. Yes, Lord. I saw lightning flash on the front of the souls through the back, mm. right through the glass. And I just sat and admired the wonders of God. He said that one lightning flash have enough power in it to serve the world with power. Yeah, in God. one lightning flash so one lightning flash can destroy the world my it's fire, it's light, it's electricity that's the God that we serve amen, amen, hallelujah God. hallelujah yes, so God has spoken once and God speaks twice because God to make sure his message is heard and understood that power belongeth unto him also unto thee O Lord belongeth mercy for thou renders to every man according to his words. And I'm supposing from the, the scripture, this part, that God renders to every man according to his word and his work. Yes. Rather, his work. For thou renders to every man according to his words. So, brethren, work works of righteousness. When it's easy and when it's not easy. Yes. Because the band is saying, God will render to us according to our work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's visit Isaiah 41. And I'm closing on this. I love to read the word of God. Jesus, Paul says, preach the word. Be instant, in season, and out of season. Let the work does what he wants to do. Don't preach your heart and your mind unless it's a circumcised one. And it's the word of the living God. Hallelujah. I'm still waiting on this word. Since 2009 when the Lord first gave it to me. Hallelujah. Parts have been manifested and others are yet to come. It's Isaiah 41 verse 10. Glory to God. Glory to El Helion. Glory to our mighty warrior. Glory to the God who defends his people. Hallelujah. Jacob was a man who was a schemer. But God has predestined him for a purpose. So even if you find yourself or if you find ourselves not walking as straight as we should walk, just hold on to Jesus. He's going to turn us around. But he said to Jacob, he said to the people of Israel, Fear thou not. Hallelujah. For I am, who is the I am? Is with the man, man. When we finished dissecting those pictures and videos, we saw the face of the Father, the ancient of days, Hallelujah. watching over His work to perform it. As a matter of fact, because a man and woman that walked from the side of the car, we didn't stop properly at the first. The bus came and I had to move, and I parked some bit up normal, not in coming to the one and the couple walked up the side of and see what little day was quarreling with him. This man. But I was so excited I went to him and said, excuse me, look at the sign. <laughs> I was mischievous. I was so excited. I said, look at the rainbow up there. Look at the two mini suns on the right and the left of the major sun, this sun that we know. And look at the 
cloud look at the rainbow we call it rainbow thank god for minister grinch corrects us it is god's boat thank you you teacher <laughs> yeah and i said look at god's bow and the lady said come to the first two her argument with the man and when i was walking away he says amazing no, nobody came back to look at it. We didn't see the body getting cameras, the pictures, but we, as if the Lord was manifesting it to us and we took it all in. Yeah. Went to bed half to one, hallelujah. My God, God woke me, woke me up to two to seek his face. And, and my God, doesn't make me ever that have experienced the day before. The evening before gave me strength to wait before him. So fear thou not, yes, for I am who is the I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Do you know what it is to know that you 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 know that that you cannot unknow that God is your God? Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. I thank you for the gift of knowledge. That I'm, I was given one day at the church, speaking casually as I know what to do. And the Lord says, Your prophetess, I gave you the gift of knowledge. I didn't give you the gift of knowledge. And immediately, it remained, it remained, it remained, it is, you know, that knowledge prophet up because of that time. I reckon I was very proud and didn't know it. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he reveals to me at the same time, says, Knowledge prophet, but what love it is, does not it ask him for more love. You know, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise hallelujah. Praise God. Fear thou not, my children. Fear thou not, my redeemed. Fear thou not, ladies. You are greatly oppressed and demeaned and abused because you are the weaker vessel. And because you also carry an attraction for the Bible says you are created for our glory and men will abuse you, misuse you, demean you. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you. Hallelujah. Master God said to me and spoke in Patwa. For, for fear thou not, for I am with thee. God your father said, Fear thou not. I speak especially to those of you who are weak and to women especially. Fear thou not, for I, the Almighty God, the I am that I am, I am with you. Can you not feel my presence? Can you not see my protection? My hand is with you. Hallelujah. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen you. If you depend on me, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that are in sense against me shall be ashamed and confounded, save God. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee, hallelujah, shall perish. I'm not really giving you a I'm reading the word of God. Don't fear of God. God. I've come to a point when I'm in a warfare now, I'm not playing. Mm -hmm. I'm normally a very soft, easy going person. Talk only to some people who think I'm really simple. My God, but I trust in God with all of my heart. I don't depend on no other one. I don't depend on myself, especially after that accident. I couldn't dream I could have a so wicked accident when God protected me 39 years. Looking forward to celebrating 40th year of safe driving. My God, that diabolic plot brought me to that accident, so I don't even depend on myself anymore. Hallelujah. I never used to anyway, so to speak. I totally know trust in God. Amen. My Lord, my Lord. When he came to this world, I was sad in my tribulation. He was plunged me into it. When I look forward to retiring and having something to show and something to live from, my God. He says, Solomon, you must go through this seven years. Hallelujah. My God, my God, it was hot. When I got this word, I could perceive it and believe it. But hell was still for in my being. Hell that has no ending of hells. Glory to God, what God brought me out. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look at me today. God, is so God, so so God brought us out while she was going through hers. I have not known her. He merged us about the last two years. Hallelujah. And brought us together and gave us a glorious marriage. A glorious marriage. A glorious marriage. My God, and we are retaining that glory because that is precious, more precious than gold. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glorious. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Mighty God. Let God go with a shout against the wicked and destroy the wicked who will not repent and those who cannot repent. Hallelujah. What he will deliver his people. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. We honor you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I love the part where he said, Thou shalt seek those enemies and shall not find them. Even them that contended with you, even in the so called church, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. It's in the Bible. Don't go wrong. Hallelujah. You want to hear this man preaches what we call man dust. When he preaches, you tremble. Glory to God. I'm going after Bobby Jamaica. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. For I, the Lord, yes, Lord. thy God, mm. will hold your right hand, saying unto thee, yes, Fear not, I will help thee. Yes. Fear not, thou worm Jacob and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, say the Lord God of hosts, yes. and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp, threatening instruments having teeth. Thou shalt stretch the mountain, stretch the mountain, and beat them small, and shall make the hills as trap. Hallelujah. That's verse 15. Mm -hmm. When God make you into an instrument against the devil, thou surrender let him do his thing. Mm -hmm. Because the devil thinks he's bad, and his instruments thinks that way too. But when God make you an instrument of war, surrender let him use you. Glory to God in the highest. Because he has to do his thing. When he wants to do it himself, he do it himself. Do it himself. When he wants to use his subjects, he uses his subject. Surrender to him. And saw the Lord sent an angel back. A lady I knew had a went to heaven and sent her back on an angel. And this lady never want to hallelujah. Never would like to lay hands on people. She just want to speak the word manifest and that's humility. But when God gave the instruction, God humble God sent back this lady who as an angel and began to show her how to lay her hands on people for their deliverance and their healings in the battle of the Holy Ghost. She would practice it. She would think those try to do that because she believed God can manifest life more than he does. Or when God gives the instruction, you have to follow it. And she cuts her life off. So those of you who reach on my voice, if and or when God the Father, God the Holy Ghost, God the Holy Spirit, or their angels, comes and give you a word. Amen. Don't defy God's word. Don't argue. If you find it not a pleasure, say, Lord, give me grace. Yes. Hallelujah. And the person that the Lord sent back is somebody I knew. My spiritual mother, the best of them. She showed me Christ. Hallelujah. When the person recognized who this angelic person is or was, it is. And I'm about to call her name. She disappears. But that's what she, that's what she was here. She never liked to be worshipped. The, the, the angel told John, don't worship me, I am my fellow servant. I don't your bravery. Glory to God in the highest. Father, I thank you for the strength to speak this word today. I don't need my mind or my power. It's by your spirit that I have this ability. And so I'm coming down as soon as I can. But I'm not rushing because I must deliver this word. And this is part one of it. There are some wicked people out there in the church. Some wicked leaders, so-called leaders, that some of them are some higher of the people of the church worship. And my time will come to be with you. I'm waiting for Lord. The Lord has already given me a message. Praise God. Fear not the word, Jacob. But Jacob stands so humbly like a word. And Jesus said, God said, Fear though not the word, Jacob, and even of Israel. I, God, will help thee, said the Lord. And thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new, sharp, threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt stretch the mountains and, hallelujah, beat them small and shall make them, make the hills as chaff. Yeah. Thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord Amen. when I scatter them and yes. shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Dear any one of us at any time, glory in anything else or one else except the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. My God, my God, my God. I'm going to come down. Because I can stay here all day. You know, when the mountains of you, you're not an A, you're empowered. You have supernatural power. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. I could stay here for the rest of the afternoon. But I take my time and go towards the end. Yeah. When the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faded for thirst, I, the Lord God of hosts, will hear them. Yes, 
I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I have walked through mountains, going for pattern, was given, oh God, to be made for me at the theater. And when I walk through the mountains, he heaped the sun, the spit in my mouth become dry. Glory to God. But this is referring to our spiritual first. God says, I, the God of Israel, will not forsake you when you're thirsty for the living God. Hallelujah. I will open rivers in the high places. Hallelujah, I will this and fountains in the midst of the valleys. That's what God says He will do. I will make the wilderness a hallelujah, a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the shea, the cedar, the shea tree and the myrtle tree, the oil tree. Hallelujah, my God, I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine tree and the box tree together. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this. The Holy One of Israel, this is what the Lord brings to a place where you're living. Psalm 126, you're living in a dream. He says, I will do it. He never said, We must do it. Hallelujah. When God gave us a commission, we'll go with the flow. We flow with the Holy Ghost. Let Him do it in His own time and way. Remind Him of His promises. Don't rush God. And I, I can say it because I'm one who would have done that part. He said, My nature and temperament was to be hasty. Putting his word back before him boldly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Yes. That the hand of the Lord have done this. And the Holy One of His has created it. So when God does His thing, we give Him praise and glory. Let Him fight our battles for us. But we will stand, and then and all, God and then all will stand, hallelujah, and we'll see the redemption of the Lord. Because when He speaks a thing, He will fulfill it. Only wait the one God, for there's a time and a season for everything under the sun. The Bible says in the fullness of time, God sets forth His Son through a woman. Hallelujah, was promised some way back in Genesis, and almost said that all the prophets and the preachers spoke of him, but in the fullness of time, he came. After there were about 500 years of silence, we understand it from the theologians. He came anyway and did his thing. And our lives are here with Christ in God. So we can wait on him through the storms and let him work his purposes out. I speak this word in love today. Hallelujah. I speak the fact. And they are oracles of God. So how else can I speak these facts in love? Praise God. But let God fight. Let God fight and let our enemies be scattered. Let God arise and our wicked enemies be scattered. Let God and Helen arise. The Lord God of hosts and his enemies be scattered. Let the great I am God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Seven different directions the Bible says. Or we shall look for you and not see you. So if you have a chance to repent, repent soon and see some of your wickedness. Because the wrath of God and the sword of God is out against you. And when he starts, he will not stop. These are my few words in Jesus' all-powerful name. Amen. And Father, before I hand the microphone back to this prophetess, I give you all the honor. I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. I stop on you. Don't give any more words to say because I don't want to move on to the flesh. Lord, I surrender this message before you. I just send it where it belongs. My God, of the east, west, north, and south, wherever the witchcraft workers and the hobby workers and the delirious workers and the iniquity workers, the sorcerers are hats in different languages and places and climes, oh God, we present them in your hands. You can war your war. We will be hidden in you, Lord, and the glory and the praise belong to you. With thanksgiving, I pray today, for I know that you are strong, and I know your manifestation on Friday evening was for a special reason. I waited for this time and the rest is in your hand. Lord, we surrender all in your hands and we thank you and call it done. Exceeding abundantly, far above that which you are able to ask or think. It's in Jesus' name, your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, our best friend, our God washing Lamb, that we speak. Amen. Amen. A thousand times many more. Amen. Shalom. 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 Amen. God. Praise the Lord as Minister Vassal is putting those away. We thank God for this powerful word. Praise the Lord. Nothing add, nothing taken away. Well, we thank God for using his manservant, Minister Solomon Elkana Vassal, for bringing the word today in the name of Jesus. 
We thank God because as he has says in the beginning, if you have to replay and go back to what the Lord is saying, he says that he will rescue his people from our enemies. He will rescue the people from their enemies. Praise the Lord and from the hand of the wicked one. Mighty God, he preserved them from famine. So when, when we, we don't go by the economy of this world, we know that our God is able to do just. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. You know, many of us might say, I don't see food on my table. I don't know how I'm going to eat tomorrow. But I want to let you know that God says he will deliver us from famine. Glory to God. And he will preserve us from not having food. That's in Psalms 33 verse 19. He will deliver and preserve us from death. Whether it's spiritual, physical, psychological, emotional, he's going to deliver us and preserve us from death, as in Psalm 22, verse 19 to 21. He's going to deliver us from the grave, as in Psalms 56, verse 13, Psalms 86, verse 13, and Hosea 13, verse 14. And the most exciting thing when we remember how God bring deliverance to his people in Exodus from Egypt. Glory to God. And you can go back again. I am not, I'm just repeating what I've already said. But if you're just coming on, it is not too late. And God is defined as the deliverer of Israel. He rescues his people, not because they deserve to be rescued, but as an expression of his mercy and love and covenant. And that's in Psalms 51 verse 1, and Psalms 71 verse 2, and Psalms 86 verse 13. So I thank God for using his manservant, Minister Vassal, today as an instrument to bring forth the message as we have already prayed the repentance prayer we will not go there but i want to thank god for what he has done today for all that he has done this past week and all that he's about to do in this ninth month we thank god for the number signifies birth praise the lord he is doing a new thing He's doing a new thing in the ministry. He's doing a new thing, praise God, in the world. He's doing a new thing individually and collectively. Glory to God. It is a blessed month indeed as we're approaching the most significant celebration in a couple of weeks. Praise the Lord of the Rosh Hashanah and the Yom Kippur. We are giving God glory for all that he has done. And as I, again, I repeat, and for what he's about to do, in Jesus' name, Minister Vassal, you can come back as the Lord's will. And we thank God, we pray for your strength, as the Lord renew your strength day by day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father God. Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. 
over me, no in the rock. I'll hide in the rock. Yes, we'll hide in the shadows. We'll find when the storms of life are raging over us, no in the rock. We'll hide. Say I'm not sorry. We're not sorry. We've answered the master's call. Jesus took a heavy load, and now we're on our journey home. We are not sorry. We are not sorry. We are not sorry at all. Although we we are not sorry. We are not sorry, we have answered the master's call. Although Jesus took a heavy load, now we are on our journey home. We are not sorry, we are not sorry, we are not sorry at all. Oh, we are not sorry, <laughs> we are not sorry, say we have answered the master's call. Jesus took a heavy load and now we're on a journey home. We are not sorry, we are not sorry at all. Oh glory, yes, I'm overshadowed by His boundless love. Yes, I've got protection from the Lord above. Jesus walks beside us every passing day. And below He guides us all the way, all the way we're overshadowed. By his love, where walk our protection I hide from above. He walks beside us every day. We know he'll guide us all the way. Oh, glory, yes, we are overshadowed by God's wondrous love. Yes, we've got protection from the God above. Jesus walks beside us <laughs> every passing day. And we know he guide us all the way, all the way we're overshadowed by his love. We've got protection, my friend, from the Lord above. He walks beside us now every day. We know he guide us all the way. Yes, in the rock of Jesus Christ we hide. In the shadows there we'll abide. Oh, when the storms of life are raging over us, no, in the rock, hey, 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 we'll hide. In the rock, we will hide. And in the shadows of Christ, we'll abide. Oh, when the storms of life are raging over us, no, in the rock, we'll hide. Yes, in the rock, we'll hide. Yes, in the rock, we will hide. We love the saints of the most high God. We love those of you who are not saved. We love those of you who are in the wrong before the Lord. We are commissioned to love, and in loving we walk in wisdom. We have done the will of the Lord joyfully, humbly, respectfully, and in meekness. We are only vessels. God. Mm. We are only vessels of God. Mm. We are only His mouthpiece that is brought through experiences and from the experiences compound with His Word and the power of the Holy Spirit, we have delivered His Word. Yeah, Repent God. and be saved. Mm. Those of you who are out of Christ and those who are playing games. Mm. The Lord is coming soon to reward every man according to our word shall be. Hallelujah. For the children going back to school. So we thank you today, Lord, for this honored, favored, merciful, given privilege to speak your word. Yes, Lord. We pray today for parents and children who are making plans to go back to school, university, colleges, secondary schools, schools of learning of all sorts and kind. Yes. It's a time of transition, physically, mentally, and spiritually. We pray you're carving over your children, especially for your word declares that children are the heritage of the Lord, 
of the fruit of the womb are his reward. I read in the paper where one little girl was snatched at six and seven, but she was able to hit this rubber, this thief, this uh, whatever this person is, with her head in his head, and he lets her go. Father, we pray for divine covering over the children from accidents, arms, and dangers. Diseases, afflictions, infirmities. We pray that their brain will be loose to learn the moral, spiritual things of life upon them and make it become a foundation upon everything they learn. We pray, provide for them, provide for their parents, Lord. Let it be a new year of learning, Lord. We invite you back into school in your own way. You can do dreams or visions. You can do compilations of multiplications of revelation. My God, and reveal to these children yourself. Because, Father, most of these people who are teaching them, many are just following the abnormal norm. So we pray that you'll be the teacher, King yes. Jesus, yes. Holy Ghost, to these little children, that they recognize your goodness and your mercy and turn to thee. We pray to save the teachers and turn them around, the head of the department of schools and all that, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, be merciful via the highways and the byways as they travel on the buses or privately, oh God, here and there. Watch the word to perform, especially the believers. <laughs> Father, we beseech you. You said when we pray, we must believe that we receive that which we ask for and we shall have it. So we believe that you're hearing us today all across the earth on behalf. You're hearing us on behalf of all children and parents all across the earth. But I praise you and pray for my wife. Yes, Lord. Mighty God, mighty God. Your word says he that finds a wife mm -hmm. finds a good thing mm -hmm. and obtains favor of your hand. I am so extremely grateful to you. My life was very lonesome. Father, nobody understood me, so to speak. But I thank you for a woman, the daughter of Sarah, who is so full of love, that even if and always she does not understand the love of God in her, her power and her situation, and makes the perfect wife to me, I give you glory. I give you praise. I pray for those who reach for voices who are also seeking for partners. Yes, Lord. And I, I never use my benefits, I never have none. I've heard men, and I've been used to where they date a woman and they don't find the kind of person they want in their marriage to throw aside. They have emotions. I've never been in those things. I believe you can provide the right person, and you provide the right person for Adam, my God, and for Abraham. You've done that for me. And we pray for those who are seeking partners in life, especially those in the church, that they do it in the way. Because they can't lose. Our smart is nothing. Unless God empower us. So we pray in that that they trust in you with all of their hearts and not to lead to their own understanding. But in all their ways to acknowledge you, let you direct our paths and their paths. Have your way today. Come on, Mrs. Bass with the blood. Come on, our children and our children's children. Our whole posterity with the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Come on, mamas who through death has birthed us into the, this life. Let them live a long, healthy, and prosperous life to behold your glory and to shine for you. Cover our families, our lineages with your precious blood, our siblings and their families, and likewise the churches, Lord God. I mean, they are indeed to do the same thing for them in the name of Jesus Christ and reach our for us in birth with O God. By the power of your blood, reconcile them and their families and leaders as we pray. And the world at large to be saved. Let your blood be sprinkled upon the world at large. That men may run to you and find refuge and safety. We love you. Come all governments with your blood. We are under them, but not of them. And Father, we will oppose them when they are wrong in the spirit of humility. So cover them with the blood that they be able to lead our islands, our countries, our continents right. So we will not have to resist them and bring curse upon themselves. Father, we pray today you show them kindness and mercy that they will apply the word of God and love with the head of responsibility they have. Cover the medical team with the blood, the, the, the security team with the blood, every auxiliary of teams here and here over the world with your precious blood that they will lead a righteous life and your people will have joy and happiness. Because when the righteous rules, 
the people rejoice. Why, hallelujah. When they are included to supervisors and managers, all people in authority, or when the wicked rule, the people suffer. No Lord, we pray that righteousness rules through your people that you be glorified. As we bring this service to an end, we commit everything in your hands. Things we have prayed for, things we have not prayed for, people we have prayed for, people we have not referred to, remember them today. And be though glorified, but in the rock we will hide. We will hide. And know the Lord bless you all. Hallelujah. God bless you, Lord. And the Lord of hosts keep you. Mm -hmm. The Lord causes his holy, beaming, holy face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. You're going out, you're coming in, you're sleeping and you're waking. Mm -hmm. May the favors of God overtake you. May the intimacy of God be realized in your life. Hallelujah. May you lose yourself more and more in Him and prove Him in a real intimate way. Even in long suffering. Yes, brother, you said it even at ten dollars to buy your food for your wife or for your children. My God, may God meet you all at the points of your need. May he cause a board to rise up uh, that bears fruit overnight as Aaron's rod bore overnight. Hallelujah. May God break the miracles that he's able to do for you. And if I know if he's taking you through a test and trial, stand your test because he's bringing through pure gold. These are blessings of you, both now and forever. Shalom. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Good job. Love Praise you, God. God Praise bless God. you. God bless this you. This lady full of love. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. We love you all. Yeah. Be strong in the Lord, body of Christ, and the prophet's might. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God, today is a glorious day. As you know, it's a Labor Day weekend. We bless those that are celebrating and those that have to work. We give God all the glory for His provision and for His supernatural strength this week. Hallelujah. As I'm one of those that would be working tomorrow, I give God all the glory, all the praise, all thanksgiving for what He has done 
and for what he's about to do. And the Lord has said when she went to work and I was not very happy about it. And I went into the bushes to see him. The Lord said she's not a minister. So don't bother me. <laughs> you're, you're ministering. You're an example there. And that's what we all are on this earth. We are really supposed to work. We are actual ministers. My so, God. Sorry. I thank God, yeah, for <laughs> his work. It's not just physical labor, but is witnessing for God's people. Being at work, you're meeting the Savior, but you're also meeting the people that God is bringing into the kingdom. He's taking people out of the street. I've seen so many different people and nation and tribes and tongue that came into work. I tell you the truth. As we said, this is a... A, a, a great and effectual open door ministry and there are many adversaries but I want to let you know that God has bringing people from different nation and they come and when they come into the place where I work they're meeting the Savior because all that I'm doing is witnessing I'm sharing and I'm testifying of the goodness of God I'm speaking into their life and I'm giving God all the glory, all the praise for all that he has done and for what he's about to do, for redeeming his people, for saving them. And we are a testimony unto him. We are a living testimony. As Minister Vassal says, we are the living stones. We're fire stones and we are <laughs> witnesses. We're ambassadors. So we may be doing a physical job, but we're also doing a spiritual, a spiritual job unto the Father. As we work our physical work, there's also a spiritual work being done. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage those that have labored through the years, through the trials, through the testing, through the, the adversaries, through everything. God is giving us victory. He's going to give us victory over and over again. Because through this experience, it is where he's building our faith. Amen. You know, I'm not saying that we're not going through, but I thank God that he's delivering us Amen. from our enemies and he's giving us the victory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We must continue to smile because the greater one, he abides in us, he lives in us, he dwells in us, and he habituates in us. So if he's in us, we have to let our light shine, mighty God. And that's all I got to say. Thank God for using Minister Vassell. I thank God, sir. You did a great job. You did an amazing job. And as Minister Vassell said, we give God the glory. We give him all the praise, all thanksgiving. And it is just the beginning of Minister no, Vassell's ministry. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you all. We love you.